All right, the Supreme Court now weighing arguments in the case of a high school football coach who lost his job for praying at games. It is a form of pressure. We're worried that the, that the students will feel he gets to put me into a football game or not. He gets to, you know, give me an A in math class or not. If the uh, coach, uh, instead of taking a knee uh, for prayer, took a knee uh, during the national anthem uh, because of no moral opposition to racism, uh, would, how would the, your school district respond? Interesting question, right? Fox and Friends weekend co-host Will Kane joins us now. Hey, Will, how do you think day one went? I think it went well for the coach, Coach Kennedy, who has been taking a knee at, at the end of a game in, in prayer and subsequently joined by students. I think it went well. Um, I think there are several new justices, Brian, new as in the last several years, who are sympathetic to religious expression and that protected by the First Amendment. Uh, Justice Gorsuch, Justice Coney Barrett, and you heard that question from Justice Thomas. It is an interesting question. Would there be this opposition? Would there be this, this lawsuit if, like Colin Kaepernick, students were taking a knee, even under school direction, in opposition to racism? And I think we all know the answer to that. Instead, this was a, a singular coach who took the act of a private prayer that then attracted others to come join him. I think that the, uh, I think the Supreme Court is probably going to not only approve of or, or, not, or let this coach continue on with his job. He was punished. He thinks he lost his job because of this act. But could roll back some of the precedent, Brian, that in the past has drawn this hard line between religious acts of expression and government employees. You know, what's kind of interesting is that, uh, obviously, um, you know, you have a choice to take a knee in prayer, and they say, well, what if I don't uh, take a knee? Uh, if I don't pray, am I not going to get a chance to start? Am I not going to get a chance to pray? I'll play. And he said he named two of his captains that were in opposition to his, two of the players who were in opposition to the prayer, captains on the team. So, I mean, clearly he was going out of his way to say there's going to be no retribution. Yeah, we had Coach Kennedy on Fox and Friends weekend this past weekend, and he said you could ask every individual player whether or not they felt compelled or whether or not they were attracted to participate in the prayer. And look, you're a big sports fan, Brian. I am as well. Let's just use the example of, of professional football. You can see at the end of the game, almost every NFL game, at midfield, players from opposing teams go and join together in a prayer. It's not because they're forced to. It's because it's part of their culture and their religious practices and who they are. Why would it be so different if it came down to the college and the high school level? It's not. Players want to participate. They want to join together in community, in celebration, in their religion. They're not forced to. Um, and, and as you point out, it, this particular coach's actions reveal he was doing nothing to coerce these players to participate in this prayer. You know, what's amazing is if you go to NFL films and you go to some of the great locker room talks, I mean, there's always, they're always bowing their heads, they're praying before, they're praying after. I mean, are we going to start banning some of those great games and coaches and moments uh, in NFL's past because they pray? How many times did you watch players at the end of a game take a knee at the be they don't want to do any interviews, and so they join hands, opposition, and oftentimes they take a knee. Not every player. It's never a big deal. Right, right. And, and of course, they're allowed to because it, it's, a, it's a private institution. The question for this and the question for the Supreme Court is what happens when a government employee, in this case a public school teacher or a coach, does it? Does it amount to coercion, as you pointed out? Does a player feel like if I don't do this, then I don't get playing time? And I think that what we heard yesterday from the justices or what because of their questioning, what we suspect we might be hearing from these justices is that they think this was an act that was voluntary and it was protected by the First Amendment. That coach's religious expression protected by the First Amendment. And I think the real question is, will they roll back this hard line they've taken since the 1970s of, of assuming any act by a coach or a public employee of, of religious expression by that coach or of employee is coercion on the students. I think we're about to see not only a victory for Coach Kennedy, but a rolling back of that hard line when it comes to religious expression. Right. And you're not supposed to be praying for a win, but it would certainly be a benefit uh, to prayer overall if you pray and you do get the win. That would reinforce that behavior. We'll examine that for another yeah. time. Will, thanks so much. Appreciate it. 
Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.